sometimes I notice that I get so caught up in making these complex videos, these complicated technical discussions, that I overlook some of the simple, basic things, things that I take for granted that I know and I just assume most people do know. But the fact of the matter is, is that that's not the truth. Um, so I was in the process of making a video about doing um, brake bypasses and how you should get around doing that and doing it the, the cheap way and save you money on buying bypasses. But upon doing that, I also thought that, you know, this guy called me the other day and he says, you know what, I bought this Clarion receiver from you the other day and when I put on my, my uh, regular FM receiver, everything sounds great, but then when I put my disc on, no sound comes out. And I says, well, when you connected it, did you connect the blue or did you connect the blue-white? He says, uh, I don't know. I says, you might want to check that because the blue-white is actually the amp turn on and the blue is the power antenna. So, in essence, what happened is the guy didn't really pay attention, obviously. Went ahead and connected the blue, turned on his radio, because, you know, you get a radio, there's no disc in there. So he turns it on and says, wow, that sounds good. So he slapped it all together, closed it up, I guess went for a ride, and says, hey, honey, watch this. I'm going to throw a disc in and listen to how bad my radio sounds. And then the tunes went away. So if he would have just read the book... uh that problem wouldn't have happened. All he had to do was just connect it to the blue-white. And I'll show you how these two wires interact with one another and what the difference is. Alright, so what I'm going to do right now... So I'm going to go to... Uh, put it on camera. Okay. And this here is just my test light. It rests at nothing. I can throw power on ground, but I'm just going to leave it neutral. I'm going to just probe this wire, which is the antenna lead. Now, during camera operation, this wire is showing 12 volts. Also, you go to the radio tuner, I should stay on and keep continuing to show you 12 volts. But, uh -huh. now I'm going to go to DVD. See what happens? Uh-oh. It went to ground. He lost his power. This is why the guy's sound went away. Okay, now, if you do the same thing by testing that blue-white, which is the amp turn-on, you see it's on 12 volts right now. Go back to here. Is there a disc in there? Put it on satellite radio, even though there's nothing connected, it's staying on. You can see that. Go back to tuner. It stays on. Turn the radio off. See that? The turn off go goes away as well. So, simple enough. Not a big deal of a video at all, but when you're doing a system and you're connecting it, make sure you put your amp onto the blue-white. Leave the blue for a power antenna. Most cars don't even use these unless you have some type of active antenna in your vehicle. Some actually still do, so use the blue for that. Use the blue-white for your amp. You won't have no problems like that other guy did.